join us. Through my mouth said someone in their crew ran off in this direction. I should keep my eyes open. Scavenger! Sounds like someone's in trouble. I think she's gonna need some backup.
safe? Did they get to it? Please, please. Please. I should make sure she's okay. Spike is still intact. Rig's still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. And you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew, one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion.
Anyhow, at least out here I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Sounds like you're still mad at your brother. Some days I am. Other days, I miss him. He's passed on, you see. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly, and I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more. But over time, I've had cause to regret it. He wasn't a bad sort. He knew how to make me smile when he wasn't being such a lout. I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah, so am I. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Oh. Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. Uh, and then please, just don't break anything. Better get climbing. Give her credit, lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Oh, there's a spike. Might get better reception if I'm next to it. on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. This ought to be a good shortcut. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during... A, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's... something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh, I, I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. 
What if you moved the rig now? I'll try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message, then let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Well, well there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm... Camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Selga. And when you find it, Aloy, I'd be eager to hear what it is. Keep your blade bright. <laughs> Remember the time. Where'd you get that cord, mate? Climb up to look for Silga's signal, but where to start? Take it from a girl who grew up in the wilds. Birds don't provide much conversation. That's for sure. How are you doing, Aloy? Well, better than you, I think. At least I'm not chatting with animals. What's wrong? Meat here flew in yesterday with this in its beak. It's a cord that the Tanakh children use to carry their training swords. The kind of thing one of our young doesn't lose unless something bad has happened. I checked around. Turns out a kid is missing. Wandered off the day before last. Search parties turned up nothing. Gotta tell you, I'm not in the mood to lose one of my people. Especially a child. Let me see that thing. A bit of quartz on here. It's probably sand, some dirt, and clay with a red hue. Sand, dirt, and red clay? I know a spot where all three meet, just south of the settlement. Will you meet me there and help check it out? Maybe use that relic of yours. The way things have been going, I can't trust this to anyone else. I'll get there as soon as I can. I can always count on you. Sounds like you always feeling isolated. What? Oh, don't mind me. Just doing a 
will climb. Pinpoint that signal. Just a little higher. Almost there. Okay, let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. but not enough to find source yet. Climbing the mountain where my base is should finish the job. to speak to me? The name's Zorka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Vareka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But Commander Yara is too busy securing her hold over the capital to spare any soldiers. My face paint will strike. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village, find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. Going down! I see you, champion. Sit, please. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. There's a tall neck south of here that's been acting... twitchy. Something's wrong with it, but I'm not sure what. Might be smart to stay alert if you run into it. Good to know. Whatever's 
on with that tarmac. No nonsense, I just trade. It. It'll give me useful data on the surrounding area. I should check it out. This mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path.
can't read anything. This is quite a climb. I have to get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. Okay, now to pick up the signal. Where is the... Huh. 
I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silga's message. signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. Bet I'll get a nice view if I glide down from here. Break my fall. My focus is picking up the signal that Silga found. I'll need to clear out the machines before I can look for the source. Use heard water ammo to my advantage.
can keep going. get to you. But I'll need to deal with these machines first. something other than frost.
to the signal source. Search for another way in. Looks promising. Right, into the water. inside. this and she'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message
Stick with the seat. Taking you with me. We should grab the drone's data now that it's down. Stop for later. I need to get my stamina back.
You get a strong color on this. Try the screen shine. Aloy, the words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. That she'd be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat to send messages near and far can i keep this it's a treasure of course thank you sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should but with this thing maybe i can get them talking to one another From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. Turned out well. Can't wait to try it.
Closing in on the signal. They can knock her out there. Oh, I don't far. think they're friendly. Have I got news for you, Red? I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps a fellow sleep at night. Just make sure you steer clear of them. Business. I'll keep an eye out for them while I'm out here. There's the entrance to the town of Porgif mentioned. I need to find his missing expedition. And clear a path back east. Blocked. And no sign of the missing expedition. I need to find a way to get further. I'll be able to blow up that fire blue. An explosion. There's someone still alive in here. Machine? Never got a look. The caravan. <sighs> we all ran. Everything collapsed. Crawled here. Couldn't escape. Did anyone make it out? And find the first caravan. Yes. Someone did. Good. At least. I'm not alone. Rest easy now. Sounds like something big attacks the missing expedition. I better press on.
by some kind of terror. I don't think it was these burrowers. with my pole caster. Well, that got something's attention. Sounds like it's coming from further in. This will be my stash when I need it. Get out of here quick. It looks like it lets out ahead.
The Osiru must have entered the canyon from the eastern side. I better take a look. Days later, for sure. Looks like it came down when the rock breaker attacked. I must have trapped the Osram in the canyon. The rest must have run into the western tunnel. I'm trying to get to the other side. I should be able to blow this up to clear the debris. <laughs> Hitting those blaze barrels with fire ammo should do the trick. I think I'm back in no man's land. That'll be easier to go back and forth. Let's see. So, if we add all the days lost to being stuck in camp you, nowhere, man. and throw in some hazard pay, cause no doubt- You're back! How's that tunnel looking? I found the rest of your crew. One of them was still alive. For a while, anyway. Turns out a rock breaker attacked them as they were making their way through. Poor Saz. Many roads lead to Adelva's end, but that's got to be one of the worst. 
Well, I took care of the rock breaker. The way is clear now. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you could do it. And, uh, you didn't happen to find my lockbox now, did you? Sorry, didn't find it. Oh. I see. Well, not every delve brings back riches, I suppose. Here, your fee as promised. Now that the threat's gone, I'll have the tunnel shored up and cleared out. Then I can send for another crew, get this expedition going proper-like. Ha! Ah, onwards to the delve! Got something you'll want to hear, Red. You might want to avoid going too deep into the desert, especially the southwest. One of our scouts ran into some nasty Tanakh down there, the kind that contain machines. He barely made it back alive. Thanks for letting me know. The Muggles are as friendly as ever. I wonder why they're doing this far out in the desert. Are those Tanark's riding machines? The thing is, these ones don't seem that aggressive. Think she left any salvage? around the shore. There are a few survivors on that overlook. We should see if they're okay. Oh, keep calm. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. <sighs> there. Well, what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're in a Tika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? 
The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering Ashblood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing. But I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, tell him... Tell him I'm here. I might be able to use my focus to find any survivors. shortage and scalding spear. Strong against Frost Ammo. Hey, Outlander! These machines got us trapped up here. We lost our weapons in the mudslide. Sit tight! I'll take care of them. Those boulders. Break the support beam, crush the machines.
shots now. We're coming down. Save these for when I need it. Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap moss prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. Oh, we we'll have to worry about running out. Figure something out! I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. Focus can help me search. Focus might say something. Useful for making dyes.
Maybe my focus can help here. Okay, crane's in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. Climb up and take a look. If I detach those cables, the arms should drop the rest of the way. This thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear! Blood of the Ten. How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. And by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded, and we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. When the mudslide hit, I saw some of the others running towards the metal towers. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. Anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. 
There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. That works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Whoa, whoa! No! That was our only way out! Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? There are more who made it. They're safe now. <laughs> Thank the Ten. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight, for now. of me. I should do it. Okay. You should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. But I didn't see Ken talk among them. I should head back to Natika. Let her know. Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakht are stubborn fighters, but Kentok? is more so than most. So I walked out, 
I was coming back from the opposite bridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to his squad. He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place, rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with the Chief's Guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the Clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? The Chief himself. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. There's a water shortage in the capital. Could this help? The wound in the sand is low? Guess we're not the only ones dealing with problems. But unfortunately, no. This water is poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as machine oil. What's ash blood? It's a red stone we gather. Our Inker and Scalding Spear turns it into a pigment for the marks on our skin. In exchange, we get water. Every village in the clan trades with the capital for it. Food, machine parts. For us, it's ash blood. It's not exactly an exciting trade. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come, I'll show you. Natika, we need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. Let's get a couple soldiers posted as lookouts to start. Understood. Stars will be out soon. Must be the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe Kentuck got swept in there during the flood. I'm gonna have to clear the of it to get inside. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, know my name. Natika sent me to find you. 
The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And... Natika... She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was... my mistake to... deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you no fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? Not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Coming from that bed. That end. There must be another source. Please back up. Try again. Okay, the waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source.
Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire green to break open that wall. And this place should flood. The Rav Kentoxon should float right up to the top. said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Lady Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done... I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. the wandering out Come, trade. 